Help Wanted 2 VR. I've been playing it for the past four hours, and I think you can kind of see that the proof is right here because the Oculus Quest 3 as a whole is not built for comfort out of the box. I was using the standard straps, the standard Oculus Quest 3, that is $500 by the way, and uh, it is not great. It didn't last one charge, it didn't last two charges, but I was plugged in the entire time for two charges and I only got four hours of play out of Help Wanted 2. I'm not gonna lie, that's not Help Wanted 2's fault though. So, so to get into more Help Wanted 2 content, it's a mini game. It's all a bunch of mini games. There was one game that I played in its entirety that was actually FNAF at all. So if you're expecting a Help Wanted sequel, that's not what you're getting from Help Wanted 2. You are getting Phaser Blast, which is a game where you shoot lasers at targets. And then it has you throw balls at some point, which don't ever have me throw balls in VR because it just doesn't work, bro. You can throw and it's going to throw halfway across the screen to something else across the freaking country, bro. It's the worst thing ever. But like I said, it's mini games. Help Wanted 2 retailed at $40, $40 not some light VR game that you're gonna experience for six hours and then you're gonna put down. Except it is mini games for six hours. And most of them repeat the same core concepts. So though you are paying $40 for mini games, you're also paying for half of them to be repeated. Which I guess I can't get super mad at because the entire FNAF franchise is built on repeating concepts. And we like repeating concepts but we don't like paying $40 for mini games. And when I've looked at the reviews of Help Wanted 2, they all reflect this exact belief. If you wanna look right here on the store page of Help Wanted 2, after it starts slamming down your throat, um, you have, first off, you have a lot of absolute trolls that are just joking around in the comments. Also, this guy did not play 36 hours. That is, that is even impossible to play 36 hours as of this current moment, unless he just left his VR mode on. This guy just has the purple guy, uh, only has the Roxy level, which I mean, kinda. That one's crazy. But anyways, let me scroll down to somebody who is actually real. This game is not much of a horror game. So fun, absurdly fun arcade style game. Uh, let me keep scrolling to ones that are not trolls. So we have Issues with controllers, support on Oculus, well, Quest, Meta Quest now. Um, there's just a lot of things. Specifically, the Quest had issues with controller keybinds, which I feel like shouldn't happen in a $40 game. It's, it's release day, so I can give it a little bit of credit, but I mean, it just shouldn't happen. Anyways, uh, just so you know, Help Wanted 2 is a game that is just mini games. If it's worth $40 for you to play mini games and look at Roxy and take Foxy Freddy's clothes off and look at their insides, then uh, that's great. But honestly, I kind of want my money back. Also, Oculus, please just like, please like fix this. Like I, I shouldn't have to come off looking like a lobster. Anyways. Thanks, Help Wanted 2. It probably added a lot of lore that I don't know about. See you beat ups later.